Hi, on reflection, I'm not sure if my last E4 stroke M4 video was really clear enough. So I've put some graphics here to help hopefully explain it a little bit clearer and show you how the different show you some different configurations you can use to get the best out of each system. And it might help you make your mind up. E4 or M4? Well, the difference is on the ports. The E4 can only accept 100 megabits per second and the M4 can accept 1000 megabits per second, so a gigabit per second. But that's the difference in terms of wired connection, which will go from your router into your first of your mesh Wi-Fi stations. But they then both have the same Wi-Fi outputs. They can both produce over one gigabit on using, utilizing two different signals, which they, you don't have to worry about. The first arrow you see is the broadband connection coming in. The blue box is your regular router. And then the green little arrow is showing your connection to your first mesh Wi-Fi. So what we're saying here is if you get 100 megabits per second coming in from your broadband provider, that can be passed on from your um, current router into your mesh Wi-Fi system. And then you're creating effectively a 100 megabits per second Wi-Fi environment because you can only go to the maximum, which is um, the 100 megabits per second. So you're creating that environment and everything is absolutely fine. However, if you've got in this graphic shown a red input, so now one gigabit or a thousand megabits per second broadband provider, the Deco M4 can, wi can transmit that Wi-Fi signal up to 1000 megabits per second. You can actually do a little bit more in theory, but that would be your gigabit coming through from your broadband provider. So your Deco M4 can give you a better quality Wi-Fi signal in terms of um, downloads, upload speeds across the system. OK, so here's a third situation. You've got a one gigabit broadband provider, but you've got a Deco E4 system, which can only incorporate 100 megabits per second you're limited. So although the router itself, your original router could create a high speed Wi-Fi, the mesh Wi-Fi system on the satellites, in fact, on all of those mesh Wi-Fi's can only give you 100 megabits per second Wi-Fi. What's the solution? What you could do is you could purchase a single M4 to be your first mesh Wi-Fi and connect your other mesh Wi-Fi's into that. So you would end up actually, first of all, getting a increase in the improved Wi-Fi from that first one. And then you can then tag on the extra three, which will be at the lower grade. So it's a kind of half man house upgrade. What does all this mean? All this means that if you have got a gigabit, one gigabit, broadband provider go for the m4 if you haven't got a one gigabit broadband provider you can go for either and if you go for the e4 and then you later do decide to upgrade your broadband provider you could then purchase a single m4 unit and then use your remaining three e4s to extend the range so you can then still have high quality wi-fi fast downloads in the near areas from your original broadband and from your now one m4 unit and you have slightly lower um, download speeds on your other three satellites which will be further out within your home so you can still use the e4 option and then upgrade you're not throwing your money away so there you go folks that basically is it remember the lowest denominator is key here so in actual fact although they can all emit the same wi-fi signal it's just how thicker bandwidth you've got effectively f connection the ported connection from your broadband router to your first primary 
Wi-Fi unit. I hope that helps you a little bit. Catch you next time on the Wi-Fi, mesh Wi-Fi flip side.